Hey guys, I know we've had some guests running the vlog recently and now it's my turn. My name's Molly, I'm a campaign manager here at GOAT and I'll be taking you through the day with me today. Don't get any closer. <laughs> So this morning we had a weekly account management meeting. We talked about like what we've got coming up this month, any kind of things that are going really well with campaigns, anything that we're worried about, anything that we need to kind of get together as a team, fix, sort, kind of work through solutions. And then every month the directors then do one and that kind of like is a little bit more lighthearted. We kind of go through like salesperson of the month. We go through kind of opportunities. Things Who was the last salesperson of the month? I think it was Jack Edwards. Well done, Jack. Woo! Well done, Jack. And who was account person of the month? Was it you, Neve? It was Neve. Come on. Yay. Hi, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So, that's always really fun, and everyone comes into the office for that. So, once a month, we're definitely all in person, all account management get together. And it's really nice. Are you coping in the heat wave? What are you doing to keep cool? At home, all blinds down, but windows open, so there's like a little bit of a gap at the bottom so the breeze comes through. I try to sleep it off when I can. Are you saying you're sleeping during the days? <laughs> I shouldn't be saying that, but <laughs> naps do help quite a lot. Uh, I cycle to work, would recommend stay away from any form of public transportation. Uh, make sure you hydrate it, make sure you've got your helmet on, and I totally recommend cycling in. Freeze a bottle of water and put it in front of your fan, it acts as aircon. Make your own homemade ice lollies with fruit in them. If there's a nice breeze, make sure you just open your back door and your front door of your house and let the air, create a little air tunnel that comes through. Not everyone has two just, doors in their house, And just lets Sam. the air flow. If you're not on a call, pull the curtain, keep staying in the shade. Chelsea gave you technology and another to look one, after. And another one. And another one. Can I just put it in my face? <laughs> do something. Do, look, so guest vlogger, listen. Come on, guest vlogger. Ask me a question. Oh, um. Sam Fowler, you have an insightful question, don't you? I do, Molly Collins, and I'm here live with Anna Pether. Anna Pether, <laughs> the usage of TikTok has doubled amongst baby boomers since 2020. What are your thoughts on that? <laughs> Definitely not for my mum to know about your mum. She used TikTok. My mum and dad avid on TikTok. Oh, Last actually. night after dinner, they sat there. Look, I sat there without my phone, and all I could hear was the sound effects coming through out of their phones. There you go. Point proven right there. And also, weirdly <laughs> enough, my parents find themselves with the Gen Z users on Snapchat. Absolutely That's love Snapchat. it. <laughs> Absolutely love Snapchat, my mum and dad. So there you go. Wow. Cole and Ange are well at the front of it. Thoughts? Go on, Ange. Apart from Sam's parents, I don't I don't know any anyone else who uses TikTok who is of my mum's age. I do see a lot of older influencers on TikTok now, or I see TikTokers getting their parents involved more and more. I would say they definitely consume it more. I don't mm. think there's as many actual people making TikToks. I think the older generation is still scared to use TikToks and they use their kids yeah. or younger people to get involved. We did see a really good TikTok the other day of, how old was she? 90. Yeah, she's 90. A 90 year old woman looked honestly about 50 years old, she looked unreal. And they asked her what her secret was and she said, Nivea. Well, I'm born on 6th of September, 1930. But you look so good for your age and everybody wants to know what skincare you use. Well, when I, after the war, when I was about 16, Nivea cream had just come out. So I've used Nivea cream for years and years and years. So everyone, tell the viewers exactly what to do. Use <laughs> Nivea. Kent, tell us about what's going on in Strat World at the moment. Currently, what we're trying to do in the creative department is to encourage um, people or the other Strats to be more creative. Um, so currently working on a workshop at the moment to try and help people think more creatively. Because unlike George, me and Max, we do have uh, creative backgrounds from our previous experiences whilst everybody else had had a more diverse background which is which is great because that means there's a lot of knowledge that they can use and utilize for different social strategies that we can so currently we're just basically trying to make sure that everybody has a little bit of creativity in them when do you feel you're most creative the most annoying thing is people think seems to think that cre like creativity has a time like for example when someone says like oh we have a day can you come up with something creative 
um, but you never really know when something creative comes up into your head because sometimes it might just be something that you see when you're walking down the street. There really isn't a time limit to creativity, it just comes and goes. It's another crafting skill. Uh, the more you do, the more you read, the more you watch things, the more creative you become. One of the main things about being a good creative is like the phrase, uh, steal like an artist. So if you look at some of the best creators in the world, you can see where they've actually had other inspiration from other artists. So it's almost like no idea is an original idea, it's only like a remix of other people's thoughts and ideas. Yeah, you just basically just have to look around, see as many films as possible, read as many books, and hopefully you become more creative in that Great. sense. Great! Creative 101 by Ken! <laughs> creative 101 by Ken. So I know you went on a little bit of an exciting trip recently. So yeah, so I've been working at GOAT now for an entire year. It's actually my year anniversary today. Woo! But this was my first time actually visiting the Beisdorf offices up in Birmingham. So we put in some meetings, just really casual catch ups with the brand managers. I speak to them on a day to day basis, kind of, I feel like I obviously already know them, but it was so good to meet them in person. We chatted through like what's gone well, what we have already achieved, how can we like optimize, how can we make things better and what we're going to do in the year to go and in 2023. It was super good. It was super productive. It's really nice to be back in person and it's really nice just to be chatting to people uh, in kind of face to face meetings again. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed a day in my life at GOAT. And I'm gonna leave you with some facts of the day. The first one is that Moe is actually called Moet, which blew my mind. The second one is that NEWS stands for Notable Events, Weather and Sports. Okay guys, see ya. You've got to be on the ball. I don't know whether you watch my vlog, but you know, you've got to make sure that you're getting all the little juicy bits. This is me getting a grilling from Sam Fowler for my vlogging skills. <laughs> <laughs>